You ever just play D&D and then all of a sudden your ranger dwarf just starts shit and the next thing you know a necromancer wants to fight all of y'all? That's my life. This is Leslie. Thanks for tuning in to Geeky Girls Night In. Let's get it started. Hold on to your seat. Let's try uh, what are you doing? Now you're talking. And now... You are now listening to the Geeky Girls Night In podcast. Podcast. You are now listening to the Geeky Girls Night In podcast. Podcast. guys so we're back for another week of geeky girls night in i hope your week was prosperous and joyful and all of that fun stuff here with me today is a special young lady her name is Dimplicity, and the story about how i found you is kind of interesting like i remember watching your youtube videos mm-hmm. and then i joined the black simmers group what and discovered you in there and like put two and two together <laughs> and so like I love watching your builds I love watching you create these characters I love watching you mess with custom content it's just it's so relaxing to me <laughs> so for those of you that have no clue what I'm talking about I'm talking about the sims and on your channel you use two three and four right well I don't um I haven't played the sims three on my channel yet okay. I have played it in the past However, I know I know a couple of people have requested it, yet I'm kind of swaying against it because it is, you know, very laggy, regardless of what kind of computer you have. So it's just like Yes, yes. And, and, and yeah. And honestly, one of the reasons why it took me so long to get Sims 4 was because I had Sims 3 and it was so mm. glitchy. And I'm like, I'm not paying. Yeah, all, all this money to have another glitchy game. So, like, I think it was two or three years out before I even. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, all these people are having good things to say about it. I'm gonna go ahead and, and download this, and I've been having the time of my life. Yes, like that's one thing that I love about The Sims 4. Although Sims 3 had way better gameplay and things, Sims 4 is. I feel like the team when they made it, they thought about everyone's computer and not just the people with really high end computers because the game runs so smooth and I have like over 40 gigabytes of custom content and as long as my like it, on my laptop it runs perfectly fine with ultra settings like the highest settings until I'm recording then it's like okay you've got to you know lower your settings <laughs> it's like you're doing a little too much there I'm like let's not push it <laughs> with like it runs really great and I just love that about it. Like that's one thing I about, love about The Sims 4 and The Sims 2. Those games you can still run on your computer at like regardless of what computer you have. The Sims 3, great game, great gameplay. It just isn't stable enough for to work or to be compatible with every computer, whether it's a low end or high end. Right. Which is so odd. Like Sims 2 mm-hmm. was great. What did what did y'all do? For Sims 3, it's it just weird. So, I feel like it's just because the, um, the whole open world thing, like even though yeah. it's a great concept, it just causes so many issues. And they did get rid of that in Sims 4. They really did. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. maybe you're right. Um, which Sims game did you start playing on? I started playing The Sims 1. Okay. It, and um, what happened was I got the disc from one of my cousins. Um, he was much older than me. I was just like probably around 10, maybe nine or something like that. And he was in his 20s and he had the disc back in the early 2000s. Mm-hmm. And um, I played it on, I think, 
my first desktop that my mom had. Yeah, I was around nine because my mom had got me like my first desktop, and then it broke later on. But that's the other point. And I started playing The Sims One, and I loved it so much. I would stay up so long playing the game. Yep. And I had to. Now the game was old by the time I got to it. And The Sims 2 had been out for a little while as well. So I played The Sims 1 for a while, and then I found The Sims 2 at some kind of yard sale. Actually, it was like a little thrift store. Mm -hmm. And I got the disc there, and then I went from there. So I started playing The Sims 1 and then moved to The Sims 2 quickly after I seen it like a few months later at like a thrift store. Okay, so I think I started on Sims 2. I remember Sims 1, but I didn't play it. And then Sims 2 came out, and I was living with my mom at the time, and I drove her crazy with it. <laughs> because she would come into the den, and I would just be sitting there, building houses, <laughs> playing these people. And she's like, why don't you go outside and experience real life? I'm like, can I press mother load, get $50,000 <laughs> and move out of this house? I don't think so. Exactly. So, <laughs> leave me alone. Immediately. So, <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about what you do on your channel. So mm -hmm. for those of you that don't know, CC is custom content. And mm -hmm. that is content that uh, non-SIM non-EA employees have created for the game. That could be hair, that could be lipstick, that could be eyelashes. For some of my friends who know what hole I went down this weekend, it could be some other naughtier things. Oh, yes. I, yes. Yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I kind of got into Wicked Whims last week oh, yeah. for the first time. So, um, <laughs> like, I, I showed it, I'm married, and so I showed it mm -hmm. to my husband, and he was like, oh my god you can't play this in front of our kid anymore and i'm like no nope. like i don't even bother turning on the computer while she's up i gotta wait till she's in bed mm -mm. <laughs> yeah that's understandable so um where did you start out did you start out as um custom content with doing the people or did you start out with custom content doing the houses uh, when it came to The Sims 4, I started out with custom content during during the people because I was always um, a crappy, a pretty crappy builder. I've never been a great builder in my life yeah. as much as I, I want to be. I want to be as great as The Sims Supply and The Sims, but I am not that good of a builder. However, I've always loved The Sims that I make. I try to... I try to um, kind of differentiate between the kinds of sims I make. However, like I'm so used to a specific type of sim with voluptuous lips and hips and everything that yes. I've been so used to my sims turning out like that. But I always started out with custom content, like sim videos, because I know that people, even though houses are you know beautiful and people love houses, I mean I feel like people enjoy seeing sims a lot too because like you can you can do so much with sims although you can do so much with houses as well but with sims you can create people that look just like you just like someone else with different characteristics with yep. disabilities with it's so much room for representation in the game with custom content that it's just I have so much fun creating sims. <laughs> and they're they're also they're they're great. And I was before we hopped on here, I was looking at your The Sims 4 Kalia one. And oh. just watching you go through like the speed uh of setting her up and it's just it's a gorgeous sim and i'm like i just i just really want to do that and i'm slow like i'm so slow <laughs> like i'm, no, I'm slowly you, anyone getting into can it. Do it yes anyone can do it like it is the simplest thing all you need is an editing software and you know your any pc that you play the game on like my PC, even though it's really great, like I was doing it on a crappy laptop beforehand, like, and this was years ago, but, um, and I had deleted all my videos at one point because like, I just, I have like, you know, kind of like a bipolar, I really do have bipolar disorder, like, 
mm-hmm. it's been diagnosed. So like at one point, like I just woke up, I was like, I'm not doing this. I'm never gonna be anything. I'm never gonna be. There's no one ever gonna care about my channel. And I deleted all of my videos. And my boyfriend was like, What is wrong with you? Why would you do that, man? Like, and I was just like, I don't know. <laughs> and so, um, but yeah, like anyone can do this. Like it is so simple. You don't have to have the best editor out there. I use like um. Easy Movie Maker on um, Windows, it was free in VSDC. It is also another free editing software, although it isn't as easy as the ones that cost. Right. It takes you a little more time to learn. It's totally worth it. If you really want to do this and you really are, you know, what's the word? Empowered to do it and driven, then girl, anything works. Anything will work. So, do, do you create a lot of your own custom content then? The, no, the only custom content that I have created is painting. I do create okay. painting because I've always loved graphic art. I've okay. always loved designing and like re um, editing pictures and things like that and improving artwork. So, I do create my own artwork and that is all I know so far. However, I am trying to get into creating makeup because I know there are a lot of and things like that I really really love like custom content makeup that yes. makes oh my god I love custom content makeup and it's so beautiful and like no I, I like and for example like a hair I downloaded a hairstyle yesterday and mm-hmm. one of the shades of it is rose gold and you could hear me screaming what? throughout the house because I love rose gold everything me too, me too. yeah so <laughs> Um, oh, I love it. I want to jump back though, real quick. Mm-hmm. You mentioned your bipolar diagnosis. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know if you know another YouTuber, Heartbeat. Heart. Oh, I used to watch her. Um, her. Um, she yes. has this. I used to watch it. I used to love watching her. Oh like her goodness. stories of her sim stories. Yes. Like I would be like, I'm like, this is like a soap opera. Um, yes. <laughs> she's. <laughs> Oh my God. Yes. But the thing is, I was watching her before um, I started watching her Sims, like yeah. Simming Cove. In Simming like Yep, yep. Um, like her, I her was watermelon her bra movie. thing. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> I was watching her before that. And then I started watching the Simming thing, but I didn't know she was the one that was over it. And then when I found out, I was like, oh my God, that's crazy. Yes, so. yes. But she mentions that um, Simming. Uh, I don't know if she does it a whole lot anymore. I'm not on YouTube a whole lot, but doing The Sims, doing the stories, creating these characters, that was like therapy to her. And she was dealing with um, a diagnosis as well. So I was wondering, do you kind of treat it a little bit like therapy? It's therapeutic for you to just kind of get lost in your characters and pick the perfect things for them. No, like it really is. Like I go, like I have actually been to therapy, and they asked me what is the one thing that I do to help me, like with my negative thoughts and things like that. And I'm like, I play the Sims, like I, I play games, like because honestly, playing the Sims it helps me get out of the real world and into the game, and like with all that imagination and positivity and mother load surrounding, like, yes. It just makes me so comfortable and it, it really does calm me down and yes like there are times when I do create characters that I try to like you know ha- have them go the easy life but most of my characters that I create like I take them through things and I feel like the reason why I put them through things is because it's easier seeing people in a game go yes. through the same things that people in real life go through and it's just like you know that you can give them their happy ending Yes, yes, that's exactly it. I know at the end of the day, I control this. And at the end of the day, I'm going to make it work out perfectly. And so. I understand that so much. I And it like to go back to when, you know, I was playing The Sims and living with my mom. It was a rough time. Mm-hmm. I come yeah. from a small town as well. And mm-hmm. it's kind of a hellscape. <laughs> and um, one of the problems is, is, is a lot of people, they'll get pregnant and stuck there that's it yes 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 that happened to my best friend and like i am still rooting for her like at the end of the day i'm like girl no matter what you have gone through this isn't the end of your life this is the beginning of your story and you have more chapters to write until you finish your book exactly 
and Mm -hmm. that you know I had just I had I had to move home I had ran out of Mm -hmm. money my job wasn't paying the bills and I had to move Mm -hmm. back in with my mom it was difficult and like the sims took me out of it like Mm -hmm. I didn't have to deal with going to this these like at one point I was working three jobs so right so like I didn't have to work these three jobs for 15 minutes let me go ahead and fire up my laptop and just forget everything Mm -hmm. yeah and like it was it it helped me until I was able to kind of get back on my feet and and like I finished school and I and I moved away not very far but far enough that (laughs) yeah I'm I'm in a better mental space than I would be there so definitely I honestly think that moving back home is one of my biggest fears and like I don't think I've ever told my mother because I just feel like it was just you know like crush you're like what's wrong with being back home but it's just like there's nothing there except for my family and friends like there's nothing there in this town like I don't want to be drawn back Cause in school I was bullied so bad going yeah. to, like growing up and everything and like just seeing the same people that I went to high school and middle school with that tormented me so much I never want to have to go back to that town and visit. But you so. know what? It gets so much better. It really does. Yeah, it I does. Uh, I it was a few years ago and I happened to be home visiting and I it was before I was married, so it was well over ten years ago. And mm-hmm. I went out to a bar and I was just sitting there and I saw an old friend and we began to chit chat and one of the girls that bullied me in high school came up and was like, Oh my god, it's Leslie, blah 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 and I'm like, Why are you talking to like, me? Like why wait? Oh, I hate when they do that. I have seen I, I will never forget this. I was in the bus one day and t- like, okay, so I have a lazy eye. I've always had a lazy eye. Sure. Um, but I was on the bus when I was in 10th grade. And, um, I was sitting on the front seat with my cousin, my favorite cousin, and it was time to go home. And I will never forget that the kids in the back, they started picking on me. You know, like always, I was like, okay, whatever, whatever. But then like they threw, like they started throwing like, paper at the back of my head mm-hmm. and that was like the first time that like <clears throat> I'm sorry I'm getting a little <laughs> it's okay but, like it's that okay. was the first time that like it had ever gotten like more than just the name probably of course I had been in fights and things I had to fight so much in school but like they just started throwing paper at the back of my head and like I didn't say nothing I, I wanted her to say something but in that point like nobody stood up for me and I remember going home, throwing, like, my mom was like, are you okay? I'm like, mom, I'm fine. My mom was a single mother. Of course, I'm not going to go, mom, I'm in school, blah, blah, blah. She's right. working, she's tired. No, mom, I'm fine. And then I just went and threw everything on my dresser. And I threw, like, so much. and hit the closet door, and I put a big hole in it. And I was just like, I can't do this the rest of my life. And that same guy. Now when I go, like, whenever I go, I'm like, hey, Sherry, what's up, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, hi, how are you? You know, <laughs> like, the, the casual talk, but it's like, even though this was only like, um, it was my sophomore year in high school. So it was about seven years ago. Mm-hmm. So I'm, even though it was like seven years ago, like, you don't, they don't realize that the things you do impact people and it does leave a scar on people. Even oh, yeah. though it's just something like simple as a joke in that time for you, this is my life that you're impacting and molding. So yeah, I definitely get what you're saying where like the people who tormented and taunted you try to come talk to you now it's like, no, please leave me alone. <laughs> exactly. Like good day. You <laughs> Yes. And my demeanor has changed so much since you know living there since high school and stuff I'm very dry and I'm very matter of fact and I'm very to the point and I don't have time for it and I will hurt your feelings without even trying to I'm just pointing out (laughs) I'm just pointing out things that you may not want to hear so it's very advisable for people that have bullied me in the past to stand 10 steps back because I like it's not even a pop off. I'm just like X, Y, and Z. Good day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, but it does get better, as you know. And yeah. you know, we kind of have the Sims now to to 
you know at the time it was therapy for me and it's therapy mm-hmm. for you and I yeah. just it's it's such a great game and it's such a great community of people I think um I feel like when it comes to the sim community, you really have to find the community that's for you. Because the black simmer, honestly, that is like a home for me. Like I've never felt so in tune and connected with a group of simming people on earth like I have with the black simmer. There is like, it's, it's really a virtual family. Whereas other groups, I feel like, I don't, ask for help or say something as opposed to get overlooked or something like that or mm-hmm. and not even just that but I know like people in the stimming community sometimes can be kind of toxic and things of the sort but at, even as a black summer of course there are always you know a couple of members who get rowdy and kind of toxic but like when it comes to meeting support on anything I feel like that is the best group if I share something that's not even STEM related like I remember sharing a picture of me graduating from my um, my other college with my associate degree mm-hmm. and I got so many congratulations more congratulations and likes and love and support on the post in that group than I got on my own page and even though like I'm not a person like oh you, you didn't like my picture it's just the love and compassion that is in that group I just you feel I just it. love it so yes yes it's so genuine it's so amazing and they like it cracks me up because a lot of them will post pictures of their sims and they'll have Mm -hmm. the story with it and Mm -hmm. you'll see a lot of times in the comments they're like i had to check what group this was (laughs) because this is a lot of drama (laughs) exactly sometimes it is like that group is so funny like oh my god that is the best group i've ever come in contact with when it comes to the sims it is just awesome Mm -hmm. um so let's talk a little bit about your custom content um Mm -hmm. i know that the sims resource is kind of a good resource however Mm -hmm. uh my network firewall does not like the sims resource like at all like i can whitelist it for my ad blocker but my firewall is like no no you're not yeah. this site is off limits so where else do you get custom content that you absolutely adore i i know that one of my favorite blogs hands down was sss vitlin you know lana cc fine but for some reason she stopped you know posting updates and i don't know why at all but i know i go there for everything i love going to x near cc fine cc fine um tumblr is great tumblr mm-hmm. is amazing for finding custom content i reblock everything that looks beautiful <laughs> like yes. everything yes. i go to um i use pinterest a lot um for furniture i always go to mix them because they have some great things and i also use um what else oh i'm trying to think i'm sorry yeah. um oh darn it it was in my head i i can't think of it oh wait i love um leo sims too i love his things because it's it's so diverse like he made I think it's a, um, he makes clothes, like custom content clothes, and he makes furniture as well. And your dark brain, she has some great, great clutter, like when it comes to building and things for furniture. So, I mean, I get custom content literally from everywhere I can find. I just make sure I have ad slide blockers on because you can never be too safe when it comes to downloading custom content. And I know a lot of people also like, bash this site that I'm going to say a lot but I um I also use down with Patreon because I just feel like I don't want to have to pay for a lot of custom content and stuff like that now there are some custom content creators that I faithfully pay monthly to mm-hmm. like uh, what's her name Den- I think it's Deny Richardson or something I pay for her custom content because it's actually really good and like you can't find it anywhere else and it's just really beautiful it's, it's great custom content but I'm not the type of person that's just gonna spend money like that because I don't have it as a college student I understand so. I um like I said I just got into the custom content here recently and mm-hmm. um I think I downloaded 
Nissa's Wicked Perversions. Mm-hmm. And oh my god, I love that. I love that so much. Look, I've been screaming for days. Listen, days. I, that is how to make D money. Okay. Yes. If you want to make money, use Nissa's Wicked Perversions. Like it's <laughs> oh my gosh. But like I um like I've been looking and like all of the energy and focus that these people have mm-hmm. put into these things and like so yeah. you know I floated her a little coin because mm-hmm. this is amazing and so yeah. when I did that I got access to oh what's it called her discord oh what I mean yeah. yeah so she's got a discord and she's always there and she's Ooh. always like if you got a problem you send her the text file and she looks into it like almost immediately that's great Th- that's see now that's people that i would pay for um certain things like mine because i feel like even though of course it takes hard sweat time and work working on custom content i'm not belittling any creator because one i can't create i only know how to create paintings this far and even if i could i know that it does take time and effort and things to create custom content However, I feel like when it comes to mods, those are the people that you should be paying and things like that. Like people who change your gameplay. Of course, clothes and makeup and hair, those are cute. Those are pretty. They look nice, you know, and you guys did a great job. But like, these are people that have spent months in not just hours, but months, sometimes even like, a year or so working on mods just to change the gameplay, going through game files, seeing how it yes. reacts. Even like those people deserve some coin, okay? Like, and then, I would give hella coin to them. Yeah, and then like I was reading her little Patreon thing, and mm-hmm. like because you know on Patreon you can put a goal. Like I would like to earn X amount per month, and she put. Mm-hmm. I think her amount was like something like twelve hundred, fifteen hundred dollars, and she was like, "I, I know I won't make this. I just wanted to put a goal." And then, like shortly after that, there was an edit. She's like, "Well, um, damn, I made it." (laughs) (laughs) She's like, "Thank you so much. I didn't know you guys really liked it all like that." Oh, have you heard of Sacrificial? I love his mods too. Oh my Uh -uh. god. Uh-uh. I'm gonna, oh I'm gonna get a list of these from you so I can put okay. them in the show notes because I know that some people like I played a game today I played a game mm-hmm. of D&D and I was talking about the sims I was talking about all the mods and stuff and Delshawn from Two Squares Podcast hey girl hey uh, she's like oh I need to pick this back up again and I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like the mods and the CCs are amazing it made it like a whole new game it's crazy it really is it is not Honestly, although I am so grateful for EA for making this game, like they I, they did such a great job. This is the modern game. <laughs> okay, yes. the moderns have made this game to where it is unplayable without mods. Like, and I I remember um when I first played The Sims 4. This is when it first came out back in 2014, and there were absolutely no mods, and only like three pieces of custom content on ModTheSims.com. That like this is back then. Um, I remember playing the game, and I was like, okay, I was satisfied. I was satisfied with the game. I was like, okay, cool. It's missing a few things, but still a great game. Nonetheless, this is my childhood. I can't bash it. Even though I want to sometimes, I can't bash it. But now that I've had all these mods and things installed, I'm just like, girl, there is no way I can ever go back to this game without mods. <laughs> I cannot play it without at all. Yeah, see, I was minding my own business. Like... <laughs> I'm just creating these families full of dynasties. Like I like making like the huge families and stuff. And now I'm completely flipped and, and I'm doing like a pretty woman type situation. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, this is great. Accidentally done uploaded some boy band. I can't remember. Um the one that has Zayn Malik in it. The- uh, is that One Direction? Yes, I think. yes, yes. Okay. Accidentally put them in the game. They're soliciting the lady. I'm like, this is too oh, God. Yeah. I'm like, oh, my bad. <laughs> you go, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, this is great. And like, my husband's like, are you ever going to come to bed again? Ever? And I'm like, maybe. <laughs> maybe not. Give me a couple of months. I'll be in, honey. Right. So. 
just calm down. Just give me a bit. <laughs> so, but yeah, it's it's been an absolute blast. I can't wait to download more CC. Um, yes. I've only done like a couple of things like clothes wise and stuff like that because like I said, I didn't know a lot of the sites and mm -hmm. um, the only time I was able to reach um, The Sims Resource was um, with my laptop at work. <laughs> I'm like, is it my, is it at home or is it? You know, let me a lot of places that I download my custom content on is here at my university. We have like this little computer lab because <laughs> at times I am afraid of getting a virus. Even though I do have like a virus protector, I download the thing on my uh, university's computer and I put it on the flash drive and then I just put it on my computer. Now the thing is, I've never ever gotten a virus by doing it like that and I've also never downloaded anything on the computer. However, I do consider it like if there is somehow a virus put on here, I'm pretty sure all the tuition and student loans that I'm in right? will definitely come you guys getting a protector or something like that. Right. So, yeah. And then that's the thing, like, um, I'm in computer information technology, so is my mm -hmm. husband, and mm -hmm. he's primarily networking so and firewalls and all of that stuff so something will happen and he'll be like are you trying to access some site you're not supposed to what's going on why is my step <laughs> ringing alarm bells i'm like oh, i was just trying to access sim stuff i don't know what's going on and he's like no don't go to that site bro don't do it <laughs> so so you guys are both like computer geniuses oh girl no not a genius not in the slightest he's a little <laughs> bit better than i am but um yeah we both went to school for the same exact thing on the that is so cute did you guys like meet at the same university no no uh funny story we met online um oh, well but, but me and my brother we met on tinder yes we um so i guess it's trash now but mm. back when it first started we met on plenty of fish Oh. Uh-huh. And I lived in my tiny town and he lived down here in Indianapolis. And mm. um we met up at a Starbucks and we're like, okay, if this goes okay, maybe we'll go out to eat afterwards. Oh. Um so it went really well. We went out to eat. And then he was like, You should come over to my house and watch um I Am Legend. And I was like, Okay, and this is a spoiler alert. And I was like, you know, normally I would say yes, but um, somebody told me that a dog dies. And, oh. right, and I don't take to that too well. And he's like, no, it's not as bad as you're thinking. It's fine. Keep in mind, he doesn't know me that long. So he doesn't know how I am with animals. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I go to his place, we watch I Am Legend. And like he's trying to make it a romantic moment, the dog dies, and I just lose Ball. it. Just like he had big old tear stains all down his shirt, snot oh stains, and he was like, "Oh my god!" And we've no got, right, <laughs> and so we've kind of been together ever since. Um, our ten-year wedding anniversary was this past May. So. Oh, happy belated anniversary. Thank you. Um, one of the things that I forgot to do uh, at the start of the thing, because I was so excited to talk to you, um, is I do a segment called What You Drinking? Because like this is kind of like a sleepover type situation. We're hanging out. We're talking Sims. We're doing the thing. So what do you have to drink, if anything? Right now, I'm just drinking a Minute Maid um, Strawberry Passion. It is my favorite drink right now. <laughs> it is so delicious and it good. is it, it just it tastes so amazing <laughs> i dig it all right i think that is everything do you have any shout outs that you want to give uh let me think um i just if he watches this i just will, will listen to you know a big shout out to my boyfriend um a big shout out to everyone who watches my channel like thank you guys so much for supporting me i'm at 1.5k i never honestly in my life i never expected to get over 60 subscribers <laughs> and i'm at 1.5k and i know a lot of people are like oh well that's not many but the thing is there are at least 1.4 i'm trying to calculate this right yeah there is 1498 people that watch me 
And the reason why I say 98 is because I know for a fact me and my boyfriend watch my channel consistently. But besides the two of us, there are at least 1,498 other people <laughs> besides us watching my channel. And it just makes me so like, oh my God, like people actually enjoy this. Like I'm, I'm shocked. And I just want to say thank you so much to everyone. And thank you for having me on your podcast. This is the coolest thing I think I've ever done in my life. I've never been on so much podcast. So That's like, exciting. Yeah. I'm jittery. And I tell my boyfriend like, I'm, I'm how excited I was to do this. And he's like, oh my God, I'm so happy for you. I'm so proud of you. And um, a big shout out to my mom and everybody else. So yeah. In the Black Summer, if any of you guys yes. are here. Yes. <laughs> so we got to make sure that they post this in there so that everybody can hear and yes. <laughs> make sure that they're subscribed to you because like I said, oh, your, yes. your stuff is so relaxing. Like I just sit there and like I zone out. I'm like, this is great. This is music Thank and you. everything. So <laughs> that is it for this week. You guys tune in next week and I should have the contest up. Uh, you can win a, a card game called Sparkle Kitty. So yeah it's really it's interesting it's really cute and apparently they have a naughtier version Ooh. like like kids can play this but kids shouldn't play the naughty version it's like well, they a, have a wicked Wins version exactly oh, there you go there you go <laughs> so tune in next week for that and talk to you guys later bye 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 hey there thank you for tuning in Geeky Girls Night In is brought to you by me, Leslie. Special thanks to Quinzel. Shouts out to Kim, Emily, and Mecca, who are always willing to give a helping hand. Do you like the show? Wishing there was something you could do to support? Help us out by buying us a cup of coffee. Go to coffee.com slash geekygirlsni to pledge a cup or two for the show. That's ko fi dot com slash geeky girls in as a nancy i your support helps keep the lights on in the dungeon and the podcast on the air special thanks to michelle she's our first donor you can check out other writings or interesting tidbits on geeky life at geekygirlguide.com until next time <laughs>